Assalamualaikum and hello everyone, especially to my ELC 590s lecturer, Dr. Iril Haimi bin Muhammad Adnan or Teach. Hi Teach, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and click on the follow button. My name is Muhammad Aki bin Kamar Barin, a student of Bachelor of Business Administration honoring international business at UIT and Puncha Alam. So, I am here today like to give a persuasive speech which my topic today will be on Partner Brings a Good Life. Ooh, I see some of you started to give your attention to this topic. I bet some of you will argue or try to stand your point that being single is way way better than having a partner, isn't it? Well, hold on, let me show you how partner brings a good life. Stay tuned. A study was done by the scientists that shows on someone can live longer by having a partner. Data revealed that those in the holding, hand holding and hugging group show great reductions in blood circulation levels compared to the other group. So far, hugging has been shown to reduce stress and blood pressure while enhancing immunity. As you can see on my left, it shows the graph on receiving hugs can lower the daily negative effect on someone. And these factors combined could potentially lead to a much longer and healthier life. So, who doesn't want to live longer and enjoy life? Well. Let's relate it to the current issue of coronavirus or COVID-19. Cases related to suicidal, anxiety, depression has increasing rapidly from 2019 to 2021. As you can see in the graph here, it is stated that the befrienders has received an average of 120 daily calls in year 2021 which the reasons are due to risk of getting infected to COVID, losing their job, lost their job, feeling worse over existing mental health issues and stressed out. Most of them are among those who are living alone and does not have anyone to share on their problems or probably seek for advice. Therefore, partners does not only can increase the lifespan of one, it will also help to balance your daily life. Having a partner can help to lend their ears and listen to your problems. From this case study of relationship quality and mental health during COVID-19 lockdown, written by Christophe Pierre and friends, it has stated a study shown that a person with the presence of a good partner will help to have a better mental health, mental health compared to the person with a poor understanding of their partner to them. And this, having a good partner brings a good life. Now this. People are all busy with the social medias, following Insta famous and all celebrities, which at times can bring positivity to life, but at times also can be negative. Aha, I see some of you can relate this to yourself, don't you? You must be thinking that you are so insecure with some celebrities that have clear skin, hourglass body shape, tall and dressed modestly and even some of them are having relationship with your television crush. Hmm. I think we can't deny this anymore. No reason for us to deny this as most of the people we tend to become less confident and insecure uh, looking at the celebrities. Let's take a look at this picture. It shows that social media can affect your mental health as it distracts you from work, you have to escape from bad emotions, you are being cyberbullied, you will spend more time online than with families and friends, which will cause you to go through with the feelings of anxiety, depressions, and loneliness. Therefore, having the right partner will help you to make way for successes in career, as they will help you to stay on focus on your work and they will cherish your life and also increase your dopamine which is the happy hormone and will eventually balance your hormone from time to time 
Not only that, like I've mentioned earlier, you will tend to have lack of confidence and high insecurities when following the celebrities. But worry not, your partner will help to boost it by praising you over and over again even after thousands of times. The right one will never be tired of telling it to you. Some will tend to say to me that not all will get a good partner. Well, yes, I do agree as no one is perfect on this earth. Everyone has their own mistakes, their own past, their own journey, and their own characteristics. Some may tolerate, some may not. So you must know what are the things that you can tolerate and cannot tolerate. All you have to do is communicate with each other. Communication is important, so do the comprehension. Now, let me share it to you on how to be a good partner. First thing first, you must always make time for your loved one. Schedule your time to connect every day. Connections is crucial to every relationship, but so often it can fall to the wayside. Make it a point to try to check in, show affection, and express love every day. Yes, even if you are both extremely busy, this can be as simple as a quality hug each morning before you go off into your individual days, or it can be a good morning wish if you are not married, or probably at night you can find some time to have a video call using WhatsApp or any social media application to connect with your loved one. You can look into their eyes and see something that makes them feel appreciated and wanted in life. You see, it is that easy to have a good life. The second point is that you should let your spouse feel your presence. Being available might be one of the more difficult things to do with the demands from work home obligations, personal needs, and responsibilities. But however, making your spouse feel that you are present in the moment will help take away a lot of irritation, miscommunication, and other tiring aspects that your spouse experience. But what about the good stuff? When your partner is talking about something personal, give them your full attention. Put your phone or tablet or laptop down. Make an eye contact, not affirm, reciprocate, be there fully, and sometimes look at your partner with loving eyes and smile on the lips can be enough. Aww. So, ladies and gentlemen, please be the right one for your partner. You determine what's best for your relationship. You create the situation. It is you who control the relationship whether it is going the negative way or the positive way. Be loyal. Be a listener. Be someone that your partner can find comfortness, can feel like home, feel protected and secure. Be someone that can motivate your partner. Be the life booster to your partner. All starts with you to be a partner with a good life. Well, that is all from me, Muhammad Aki bin Kamar Barin. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Have a good day. And till we meet again. Bye-bye.